Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about all things small. Well, at least where violins and violas are concerned. I've got a 132nd chamber 101 and a few different variations of the 11 inch chamber violas. So we'll start with the little violin, the 132nd chamber student 101 model. Uh, we use all of our standardized fittings, the French bridge from Despo, this one's set up with tonica strings from Perastro in Germany. We use a little Whitner tailpiece, which is appropriately altered and refined to fit such a small instrument. Uh, as far as the materials that it's made from are concerned, it's a spruce top, maple back and sides. This one has a particularly nice flame to its back. Um, ebony pegs, ebony fingerboard. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. So, a little difficult for me to play with my big hands, but for such a small instrument, it is certainly very clear and responsive, so great to encourage new, very young players. You may have noticed that I played it without any kind of shoulder rest fitted. We do keep the Tito rest, which is a fantastic alternative for anywhere from a 64th to a 10th. We sell a lot of these to young players. It's got a little pouch in the back that you can pack appropriately with anything soft to adjust the height. Um, and then it just simply straps on over both of the C bouts, like so, and the little front part protects the chin rest as well. Nice and comfortable. Okay, so next we have the 11 inch Chamber Student 200 Viola. We're very proud of this particular model. It was the first of its type in Australia where small violas are concerned. Its design promotes a much broader lower bout coupled with deeper ribs so that even in such a tiny size equivalent to a quarter sized violin, it truly is a dedicated Viola. We set it up with a lot of our standard fittings, the French Despo Bridge, a set of tonica strings from Perastro in Germany, um, coupled with the Whitner Chinrest and tailpiece. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. So even for such a small viola, we're really getting that resonance and responsiveness. Where the small violas are concerned, we actually keep another fantastic model, the Chamber Classic 202. So it's the same brand, the real difference is the, it's the next step up, where the quality of the materials being used to construct it are concerned. That goes hand in hand with workmanship quality and our setup quality. We've gone with an improved, upgraded hybrid set of strings. It has the tonica, 1 8 to quarter C for the viola, and then it's got the ADG from Eva Parazzi. Through our research and development, we found this to be the best result where the tonal attributes are concerned. French bridge from Despo, and then the German tailpiece and chin rest from Whitner. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. The Chamber Classic 202, even more depth and more resonance than the 200. I've just played the 11.75 inch, it is available in the 11 inch as well. It's a fantastic option for advanced younger violists. So there we have it, a few examples of our small violin and violas for young children who are interested in playing. Hope this video helped.